Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the supreme point question of the module 1 of SADP which is regarding the design pattern and step by step approach to apply a design pattern effectively. So before starting make sure hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and without wasting any more time let's get started. Here you have to just write a step by step process which is regarding the 7 step process. So let's have a look and I uh, will be telling you how to remember this effectively. Okay. So uh, the first is read the overview of the pattern. The first step is to read the overview of the pattern. What is the problem? What is the solution you have to design? What are the aspects involved? What are the factors? Read it and get to know it uh, very well. Like what is the actual thing you need to do? After that, go back and study the structure, participants and collaboration sections. These are the important sections where you have the knowledge of the structure, the participants and the collaboration. Once you get to know these three things, the next step is to look at the sample code to see the concrete example of pattern in code. How does a sample code look like in when you are trying to approach it and um, trying to design a solution. How does it look? Uh, the concrete example will be having a look to get an idea to write the effective code for it. Then you will be choosing a meaningful pattern participants in the application context. You will be choosing some meaningful application participants, the patterns which actually make some difference and that will be effective. You will be choosing that. And finally, you will be defining a class. Now, after these five steps are done, uh, done, the next two steps are just the application part, which is the application specific name you have to define. After you have got an application specific name, the last step is to implement the operations to carry out the responsibilities. It includes all the responsibilities, what you need to be uh, designing for that. Whatever the problem is to be solved from all aspects of that problem, you'll be searching in depth and you'll be finding out the factors which are involved in that. Based on that, you'll be finding the operations and the um, carry out the responsibilities whatever is needed to be carried out so that's all make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one